I want you to face your neighbor and say, neighbor, the Lord is good. And tonight, we are about to hear witnesses. It is time for us to listen to witnesses and partakers of the goodness of the Lord as we listen to praise reports that is the testimonies. Let somebody shout hallelujah. We will begin with the online testimonies. And the first testimony here is from Dikin Bolaji Jinodu from Region 37, Lagos Province 96. Last year at the 2023 convention, during the anointing service, Daddy said, many of us will raise the dead. He received the prophecy by faith. And on the 29th of May, he heard his neighbors who had been praying and said something along the lines of, you will not die. He ran out, went to the neighbor's house, and met their son, a 16-year-old boy who was dead and not breathing again. The mother, who was a prophetess elsewhere, and he told them that if only they believe in God, and if they believe in the God of Adeboye, and they all answered that they believed. He knelt down and laid his hands on the boy and prayed a simple prayer. The boy sneezed, came back to life, and said to everybody, why are you not allowing me sleep? This has made his family an addition to the church of God. Let somebody shout hallelujah. The next testimony is from Brother Ugochuku Ihenacho from Nigeria. During the six years of his marriage, his wife had five miscarriages. The pregnancy never exceeds six weeks. He attended the September 2023 20, Holy Ghost service and prayed that in 2024, he would bring his own child to the altar too. And God did it. His wife got pregnant in October 2023. There was no miscarriage and presently his family is blessed with a baby girl. Let somebody shout hallelujah. The next testimony is from Sister Temilulua from Nigeria. Last year, September, she had a stomach infection, suffered weaknesses, shortness of breath, and heart palpitations. She visited several hospitals without any improvement. The doctors discovered that she had erosive esophagitis. She sent an email to Daddy Gio asking for prayers, and she got a response that she would share her testimony soon. At the February 2024 Holy Ghost service, Daddy also gave a word of knowledge about someone experiencing body weakness, and she held on to the word. Today, to the glory of God, she has been healed completely. Praise the Lord. Mrs. Adeola Akindayomi from Nigeria had been believing God for the fruit of the womb for five years. She connected to the September 2022 Holy Ghost service themed Covenant Keeping God. She took a pillow, tied it to her stomach as a point of contact, and told God that she will carry her own child. Daddy Gio made a mention of it during the service that someone was carrying something I remember that looked like a baby and that God had answered them she claimed it with faith and God answered in June 2023 God gave her a bouncing baby boy brother Fatai Enoch from Nigeria is thanking God for healing. He had been battling hepatitis B for many years. 
to the extent that he didn't have money for medications anymore. He connected to one of the Holy Ghost services in 2022 where the testimony of a lady who got healed of hepatitis was shared. He keyed into it and God healed him. To the glory of God, since March 2023, he hasn't used any medications and today all pains are gone. Brother Albert Clote from Ghana lost his wife last year, lost a pregnancy four weeks to the delivery. They joined the 2023 crossover service online and Daddy Gio said the wind will blow. They shouted amen, believing God will give them a baby in 2024. To the glory of God, his family today is blessed with a baby boy that came in August 2024. Brother Adebowale Emmanuel from Nigeria had been suffering itching on his body without any root cause. All medications failed and there was no hope. Whenever water touched his body, it felt like pains were on his skin. During one of the Holy Ghost services in 2015, Daddy Gio gave a word of knowledge that God said someone is here with itching and that the itching is gone. Immediately, God healed him. Today, he bits in peace and the itching has stopped. Praise the Lord. We will now listen to the reports from the live testifiers. Somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Deaconess Blessing Gabriel from Lagos Province 34. Into the fasting this year, I started having stomach ache. I went to the hospital and they say I had to undergo a major surgery for fibroid. I wrote a letter to Daddy Gio and I went into the surgery trusting God. After, After the, the surgery, surgery, I was well. The devil came. I started having complications. But by the time my life was threatened, Daddy has already replied and invited me for prayers. I was, I was brought, brought here on a wheelchair in April special legal service. And Daddy prayed for me. I went home and yeah, I'm well. Two months into recovery, the devil stroke again. And now, now it was, was breast, breast cancer. They said they will cut off my breast. I was so angry. I said, my father must hear this. I ran down to camp, went to Open Heaven International, went straight to Mommy Gio's room. I laid the reports. I said, Father, she has breastfed her children. I will carry my children and breastfeed. And I also wrote a letter again to Daddy Gio. Luckily, Luckily for, for me, just at the August convention, convention, he replied and invited me for prayers. I came again. Daddy prayed for me. The Holy Ghost service of the convention, I was sad that my case was not mentioned. Immediately I heard that he said, somebody you say your case cannot be mentioned. God said, all is well with you. I was so excited. I was asked to go for a CT scan that looking at me, they know that the scan has spread everywhere. I went for the CT scan. I came here yesterday trusting God because he said, all is well with me. Around five o'clock, 19 minutes past five this evening, my CT scan result came out. Chest normal, kidney normal, liver normal, everything normal, no cancer. Who did it? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm here to testify of the goodness of the Lord in my life and in the life of my daughter here. My daughter, I'm from uh, Lagos Province 23, Area 19. My daughter was abused by her mathematics teacher when she was in primary school. So the Holy Spirit revealed it to me, though she didn't tell me. She said she was threatened not to speak up. But when the Holy Spirit revealed it, I took up the case. I didn't have anyone. The policemen were busy. Before I could even write a statement, they said I have to pay 20000 I paid. Another police station said I should pay. I paid and paid. But God showed his effort for us. At the end of the day, 
my, my daughter was granted justice last year, 2023, and the incidents happened in 2019. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! My name is Dickness Bola Taiwo. I'm from Lagos Prof. 16. Last, uh, this year, this sickness started gradually. Suddenly, I slept, and I felt as if somebody carried an iron and just eat it on me. Wow. I woke up, and I just, I just lose weight immediately. Ah, I call my husband. See, see, Victor, see what is going on. He said, no. We started praying, doing everything, go to the hospital, FMC, Metal. They ran a test. By the time I was explaining, the doctor said, eh, what is, eh, that will not be what I'm saying. To cut the long story short, the doctor they said, it's cancer. I ran, I cried, I go to the open heaven's house. I call upon the God of my father in the Lord, Pastor Enoch Adegari Adeboye. Because I was born as a Muslim, married as a Muslim, give back to four children the Lord give unto me as a Muslim. During the Ramadan fasting, that was when Jesus Christ visited me. And he told me, it's the way, the truth, and the life. Since the day I've been following Jesus. I said, what will people say? They will say, Jesus Christ of Adeboye cannot save her. And she just died like that. May this year, I come to the Holy Communion. I, my husband, and my last one. On our way along Parky Diomi Road, we got a terrible accident after we left Open Heaven's house. My husband was crying, say, God, I know you have answered my prayer. That is why this accident will happen. It is not common at only only communion service that daddy will say, and the Lord say, and the Lord say. This may, if you connect it, that did you say, the bread is starting, the bread we are going to eat is going to destroy poison in our body. And the wine will become a fire to destroy the poison. That very day, daddy said, he fell in his spirit, daddy Gio, that there is a somebody here, they say you are going to die. But the Lord said, I should tell you, you will not die. The word of which, work of the witch Christ over your life was destroyed. You will live to see many more here. I pray the money that he has to come and rerun the test again through my friend, Dickness, uh, Ush, she's an usher. I could be able to pay the money to the GO's account. I said, I will not spend my money on any negativity again. Here I am today. I, this is my phone. I was dry like somebody that has HIV. But God, bring me back to life. Here I am. Doctor could not hear me. Daddy GO said again, your case, doctor cannot hear. But Jesus Christ has solution. Jesus Christ heal me. I'm all. Brethren, praise the Lord. I am Pastor Mrs. Adegeye from Lagos Province 68, Region 31. My testimony are two. Number one, God delivered me from premature death and he permanent my healing. Twelve years ago, I woke up with serious pains in my two breasts. I went for mammogram. The result was not encouraging. They gave me one month to come back for confirmation. Before that one month appointment, I came to the camp to take Holy Communion. That very day, God of Daddy Gio spoke through Daddy Gio. He said, there is somebody here. You are afraid of death. That my God says, my daddy says, Whatsoever he has not planted in your life shall be rooted up. I jumped up. I knew it was me because I was afraid. I don't want to die. Then I went for the uh, test, the mammogram test, the confirmatory one. The radiographer searched and searched and searched. But they saw the first time. They couldn't find it again. Because God of Daddy Gio has spoken and it is done. Fortunately for me again, I had the opportunity to go to UK after 10 years of that miracle. And they did mammogram for me. And the test read that there is no sign of cancer in my two breasts. Last, last May, last May, I came 
also to the Holy Ghost night. And that the Jew said, there is somebody here, you will no longer faint. Four years ago, I developed fainting. I don't know, I, I didn't even go to hospital. And grip in my chest. But when that is said, we no longer faint again. I claimed it, I rejoiced. Since May, what I used to have at least twice a month, that fainting disappeared. That grip in the chest disappeared. Praise the Lord! Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is A.P. Adeolu Adewusi, LP23 Region 19. It happened that for about four years, there is a very severe pain I do feel by my right leg. And when I went to the hospital, I was diagnosed of arthritis. So I started using the medication they gave to me. When the medication could not work, I went for other treatments. Other treatments could not work. Then sometimes, early this year, I also went for Chinese treatments. I spent a lot of money, but it never worked. At a point, I gave up. I was like, well, maybe God will do his miracle since there are, tra there are traces of arthritis in my family. But on Friday, at this just concluded conversion, Daddy mentioned that God is going to heal about 100,000 to 200,000 people. So I told God that God, at least me out of 100, let me be a beneficiary. After the prayer of Daddy Gio, immediately the pain left. I was surprised. I touched the leg. At a point, I was like, let me try. Then from the old auditorium, I walked towards the gates with my bare leg. I did not feel the pain. I said, let me wait again. Since then, I've been driving, I've been walking, and the pain is gone totally. What I spent a lot of money to treat, God did it for me freely. Who did this? Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Luashio Samuel. Here is my wife, A.P. Dolapo Samuel. We married here 2012, December 8th, and we are be trusting God for the fruit of the womb. This time last year, my wife was hospitalized. On that sick bed, we watched this program, and we joined our hands together and we prayed that our Father in the Lord is ministering that we key into the ministration that God will visit us. And to the glory of God, that same month, God did it. Praise the Lord. April this year, my wife delivered fancy baby girl to the glory of God. After the delivery, the doctor said she's going to take two pounds of blood. The first one was administered. And the second one was fixed. Within five minutes, my wife started complaining that she was feeling cold, that all her body was shaking. Immediately, I called all the doctors on ground, and I you know pandemonium everywhere. Before you know it, oxygen was fixed on her, trying to revive her. The blood was stopped. At the end of everything, we realized that a wrong blood was administered unto her. It was God of Pastor Adeboe that revived my, 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 my wife after 12 years of waiting. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Sister Nkiru Aka. I'm from Province 3. I want to give the testimony of what the Lord did for me. The Lord healed me of multiple fibroids. Some years ago, I delivered my baby. The fibroid was covering my baby, but a little part, they removed a little part of the fibroid so that they could bring the baby out. So when the baby was brought out, 
I was told that I have to do operation to do surgery so that they, uh, they will remove the fibroids. So because of financial constraints, we couldn't go for the surgery, but we keep praying and believing God. The Holy Ghost service, I will be here praying. Every other services we have, even in my local parishes, I will be praying. My family, my children, they will bring the anointed handkerchief, they will place it on my tummy and they will pray. Oh God of Father, that they are there you. Anything that they, you have not planted in the womb of my mommy, please, or fruit. So after the, during the convention, Daddy prayed that people would be healed, 100 people. I couldn't come, I was at home, but I watched and I, ripped, I took in the, 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 uh, the, the, uh, the prayer. So after uh, the convention, we went to the hospital with my husband when we had the money. So the doctor told us to go for the scan. So we went for the scan. As well, I lay down, I asked them as they were doing and searching and searching and searching and searching. I asked the doctor, what is the problem? The doctor they told me they are looking for the fried blood. Who told me that I have the fried blood? I said it was diagnosed. And we went back to the hospital. The doctor was shocked. He said, okay, for him to be very sure, we should go back and do transvaginal scan. Even if it is hidden, it will be seen. So we went back to the lab again. We have to do this grand vaginal scan. They search and search and search. They said, Madam, not a single fibroid. You don't have any fibroid. We went back to the hospital. When we went back to the hospital, the doctor brought out my files. He looked at my file. He looked at my file. He shook his head. He said, doctor, say something. He couldn't say anything. He said, lay down on the bed. I lay down on the bed. He touched me and he said, he didn't touch, he couldn't say the word. That was how we left the hospital. I have no fibroid. I have no multiple fibroids. The God of that, the Jew that has done it for me. Somebody shout Jesus! Let somebody shout hallelujah. I want to bless the name of the Lord for what he did in the life of my daughter. Just in this past convention, this year convention, a week after the convention, I got home and I met my daughter running on high fever. The fever was so high, we observed that for some days, we saw that the fever was still on, nothing was changing in her health. So we had to take her to the general hospital. When we got to the general hospital, the doctor was asking me, Madam, did you just come back from Kano? I said, Kano, no, I didn't go to Kano. The doctor told me, this is meningitis. Her neck was tilted to the right. She couldn't move it anywhere. She was manifesting every symptom of my meningitis. When I checked online, I saw that everything she had, all the symptoms she had, was just the symptom of meningitis. When the doctor told us, she said we have to go for a surgery, that this cannot be done here. And she referred us to Lassut. She said this is an emergency case, that they cannot do it here, that they have to get a fluid from her spine. I told God, I said this is not for me. When we got home on Friday, on Friday night, I went into my room. I took the anointed handkerchief from the convention, from the Friday of the convention, of this year convention. I waved it unto God and I told God that God, by the time I get to last tomorrow, which is Saturday, I want the doctors to just tell me, Madam, this is not meningitis. And I told God also, I want the doctors to just tell me, Madam, go home. We cannot admit your daughter because she's fine. Lo and behold, when we got to last on Saturday, the doctors looked at her. She said, this is not meningitis. This cannot be meningitis. When the other, she said, okay, madam, wait. We have to wait for our senior consultant. When the senior doctor came in, he looked at her. He observed her. He checked her. He said, madam, this is not meningitis. This child is too stable. We cannot admit her. Madam, just take this medication and go home. I want to thank God because I called on the God of that the other boy and he answered me. Who did he? Jesus. Oh my. my name is Dickiness Olumese Augustina from Province 21, Mowe area 14. I gave birth to my son 17 years ago. In fact, he will be 17 tomorrow. 
After that 17 years, I've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. It has been miscarriage or miscarriage, still birth or still birth, until my, me and my husband decided to go for IVF. I went for the first one, I got pregnant. It was that easy. Three years on my way for satellite, I lost it on Lagos, Ibadan, Lagos Bini Road. Want to ease myself, the baby sat dropped. I went back the second time, five months, during the convention 2021. For the second one, five months, two days, I lost that one. I refused to give up. 2022 uh, convention, double person. A couple gave testimony here that they have gone for IVF several times until they met with Adigio and Adigio asked them, if you are writing an exam and you fail, will you not continue to write the exam? They went for the last one. When I got home, my husband said, did you hear that testimony? I said, yes, sir. He said, we are going for the last one. I said, but we have spent a lot. He said, don't worry, God will provide. I went. And when I got back, got back there, I got pregnant again. And the day I went for my normality, they said it was placenta previa. The, the devil sat in the gate. I was sporting. I said, no, I will not lose this one. I called my husband. I booked a flight, and I came down to the redemption camp. He booked a chalet for me. From there, I was rushed to the hospital. Eight months and two days ago, the baby was trying to pull down. I had two satellites on, McDonald and Shiroska, with placenta previa. I was rushed with an ambulance from here to Babcock uh, University Teaching Hospital. When we got there, I was pre I had been prepared for CS here. I thought they were rushing me to the theater. They took me to the delivery room. The doctor said, Madam, push. The head of your baby is out. I said, Doctor, I'm 53 old. I'm 53 old. How can I push? The doctor said, Madam, the head of your baby is out. <laughs> Madam, the head of your baby is out. You have to push. He said, Shabby, you want to poop? I said, Yes, sir, you poop. The first one. The second one, my baby came out. <laughs> They were not looking for the thread for the Shiroska. They were looking for the thread. They had to invite a consultant. A consultant was a Muslim man. He brought out the two threads. He said, at 53, you get back naturally. They now brought out the thread and they showed me. He said, uh, without losing the thread for doctors here, Jagani here, you cannot give back naturally. They brought out the thread and they showed me. I delivered with, with cyclage normally and with uh, placenta previa. After I delivered, they brought out the placenta normally. They were asking me, are you bleeding? Are you bleeding? Because they were expecting me to be bleeding because it was placenta previa. God removed the placenta and my baby came out. Who did it? Jesus. Oh, oh, oh my God. Hallelujah. We are going to do something tonight just for a few seconds. You are going to imagine that these testimonies, they were your personal testimonies. How would you respond to God? Maybe you are here tonight. You are expecting a similar testimony. Are you going to rejoice ahead of the manifestation of your own testimony? If it were your brother, if it were your sister, if it were your child, if it were you, how loud will your hallelujah be? Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together unto the Lord in praise. And let us make a joyful noise. Hallelujah. Amen.